I know what I'm getting in the bag. I call it AKC seed. You know, just like Labrador puppies, they're traceable. I know this is good quality seed, and that's the most important aspect for me as a land manager. And you want to plan for my customers. You know, they're entrusting me, so I entrust Tecamati, and that's why I use the Tecamati line. For Maryland's Malibu Johnny, habitat management is a 365 day job. As owner of Outdoor Essentials, Mally works with landowners along his home state's eastern shore and Delaware, guiding them through the food plot process. Each spring and fall, in cooperation with Maryland's QDMA state chapter, Mally holds a day-long, hands-on food plot day. This past summer, our QWTV camera crew attended the food plot day with a multi-purpose objective. First, to capture the planting of a food plot, then return during hunting season and tape a successful hunt over or near the plot. This is the food plot that I planted on my QDMA food plot day back in August and it sure has made a run for it. This is Maxitrack 5050, a Tecamati product, one of my favorite and the amount of food here is just phenomenal. These Austrian winter peas, clovers, chicory, vetch, triticale, and I even mixed in some of our Big Ten oats with it. This is just the ideal location for a food plot on this particular farm. just got set up. We decided to wait because it was so bright this morning. We knew a lot of the deer activity. We felt like it wouldn't be until, until later on in the morning. So uh, we waited till just after daylight to ease on into the spot this morning. And uh, we're, we're here for the long haul. I mean, we've, we've brought lunch. We've decided to stay in for a while. Um, it's cold. It's, it's not supposed to get above 42 today overcast it's just just perfect so we're gonna wait it out for a little while Definitely deer moving this way. It's a big deer right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that big eight point. That's that eight point right there. He's gonna come, he's gonna come right out in the shooting lane right here. That's a four-year-old eight point. We've seen in here a few mornings. That's a really nice deer. He, uh, he, he just snuck up on us, come on his back. I knew I heard something snap. I thought it was over here. This, uh, this is the buck I shot this morning. He's, a. Uh, I guess you could say every deer that I shoot's a special deer. It doesn't matter if it's a doe or a buck. But when you shoot them all a place that you manage, 
and you do everything you can to give these deer the age structure, the food, building the habitat, logging. When, when you put all that together and out and harvest an animal like this, it's just, it's amazing. It, it's a feeling that that not many people feel and the ones that feel it that are watching right now know exactly the feeling I'm talking about. And you know, we talk about management and and a lot of people in this in this world, in this hunting world, they just they don't understand what we're trying to accomplish and, and we're not the enemy. We're not the enemy. We want uh, we just like to see everybody give something back to the wildlife. Give something back. Give them, give them more food. Give them some habitat. Give them some peace and quiet. And to me, that's what management's all about. It's not just killing the deer. It's about giving something back.